It's a great Saturday where I am right now. God bless you so much for tuning in. My name is Timothy Profitable and you are blessed to tune in in this channel. I thank God for you any moment you are tuning in and I see God working much into this channel. Using your prayer, your participation, your comment and things that follow and pursue to it. Uh, today, there's just one episode I want to talk about and uh, I saw Pastor Tommy also talk about this thing and uh, I also want to highlight on it. Now, in the Bible, it brings me back to reflect on these three characters of people that really formed one group that was a very big havoc against the ministry of Jesus Christ. And these are the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the scribes. I will give you in a little brief, brief explanation about these three groups. Now, the Pharisees are those people that were really much religious, very religious. In fact, they used the laws of Moses to gain a, a lot of relevance during those times. And the laws of Moses, they really could really pretend to leave them. They would leave these laws of Moses to the dot according to the public review all of them they believed in jesus christ that will come as per the scriptures they believed in life after death they believed in the holy spirit they believed also that there is life that is not visible the invisible world these are the pharisees for you now on the other hand we have this also religious group but they were called the Sadducees. Sadducees, on contrary, had a different belief in life after death. They didn't believe once you are dead, you are dead. That's all. Once you, you go beyond this physical vicinity, that's all. They believed in everything they see with their eyes, they hear, and that is how far they could believe in the spirituality. No, nothing like spirituality. And uh, these are the people when they arrested the apostles, especially Paul, and Paul realized those who were in the panel, they occupied, both the Pharisees and the Sadducees occupied positions of power. Leave alone this one we talk about now. Those people control the government, literally control every part of the government. Now, like you are seeing now what is happening, even in Kenya, back in Kenya there, there are some things you can see happening within the new government that is coming, they are being captured by the church as well and we pray that it will be for good it will be for good and for the advantages of the body of christ but then those ones in this time those times like we are trying to make the reference about the pharisees and the sadducees they were not for good at all <laughs> they were not for good now the third group is the scribes now the scribes had a lot because they were like both so many Pharisees and uh, the Sadducees, they would generate these people. They were called the scribe. We had the scribe Pharisees and the scribe uh, Sadducees. Those ones that believe in the Jesus Christ that are coming. <laughs> they wrote it. They could translate. So the Pharisees translated the laws of Moses and gave them to the public. The Pharisees also did their own translation of their own personal doctrines they had here and there. And then they transferred, both of them, they could transfer this one to the scribes. The scribes were like the news, uh, news people today, the journalists today, the news, the media generally today. The media, the bad media, <laughs> let me talk about the bad media as we are talking about now. So they would come collect information. And these people never missed Jesus' meeting. Jesus would do his meeting, they will be there every day. When Jesus was going to heal the sick, they were always there. I don't know how they could know, but I believe those days when they hear there's a commotion, something they would think of, ah, Jesus is in that place. So let's go and hear what he's saying, what he's doing. Let's see a record and then pin him down after a while. So I take this one. 
even before I make much explanation, they formed, the three groups formed one organization of which most of the times, even today, in today's Christianity and in today's setting, we have such organizations. But then they called that organization the Sanhedrin. So the Sanhedrin held powers. They could find Jesus and then put them in fact it is the sanhedrin the group the organization that accused jesus of blasphemy and they plotted every kind of plot until they found mistakes with jesus christ for crucifixion it was the sanhedrin the sanhedrin the groups of the chief priests the 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 the, 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 the sadducees the pharisees the scribes all rounded up together with the public they 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 sensitized the public so the public would come in for a, a crucifixion mission through the instructions of them the chief priests now this brings me to the church today the church today, some of the bodies of Christ, the body of church uh, organizations, they have come also to find how to crucify the genuine man of God. Most of the times, and I'll come in to make you this, any man of God now, if you find he's alone on another side, and you realize people are saying he's a false prophet, false man of God, false this, this, false pastor, this, false evangelist. Go and check. They are operating in that formula. It is a formula. In fact, these people were extremely political. They were extremely political. So they thought Jesus was coming to bring in a kingdom to split the kingdom that existed those days. That is why they could involve Pontius Pilate, they could evolve Herod, they could evolve all those machineries that occupied senior positions in government. Even now, they would be talking about, oh, and they could not substantiate within those days where Jesus came. And that is the war they had with Jesus Christ. So they would ask Jesus, where's Jesus from? And then others would come and say, ah, is this not just the son of Mary? Are these not his brothers? Are these not his sisters we have here? Isn't his father the carpenter? They will talk about this because they knew. But then Jesus comes out and be talking mysteries in the kingdom of God. They say, and they marvel and they say, ah, how did this man know all these things? All of us. I'm not trying to make this thing look bad, but I'm trying to bring in a clip that people should understand. That when God wants to use people, he takes the despised. God used the despised things to confirm the wise. And this is exactly the problem we have in the body of church today. That the people who look despised are the people who God takes and gives assignment that is so heavy that many people don't even understand. And this is the time for the remnant. These are the people God was talking, Jesus was talking about. He called them the remnant. The remnants of the people. And I believe we will be part of this thing that people call thing. This, this move that people call thing. And God is going to align for our victory in any way. <laughs>